Hello, these are your basic controls for the multi-head butterfly. Um, it's going to be for the LCD touch screen. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is select a design from the memory stick. So we're going to go ahead and go to the icon with the three flowers. That's basically your memory icon. So when you select that, you will have the designs already loaded on your memory that you've already selected. But we're gonna go ahead and select a design from the memory stick, from the USB stick. So there is a floppy disk icon down here. We'll go ahead and press on that. And then you will have a USB disk on the top left. So let's go ahead and press on that. And it's gonna show us the designs that are on our memory stick. Um, for this, option I'm gonna go ahead and select the number one and it will highlight it or it'll do a little dark square around it and then we're gonna go ahead and select data import um, the next option will be data import and it will basically tell us uh, what square our design will be located in so we will go ahead and select the check mark And then it's going to ask us if we want to select this design uh, to run. Um, and we'll go ahead and select yes. And then it'll also ask us whether change color set design parameters. So this is actually to select the needles that you want in the order that you want to run them. So we'll go ahead and hit select yes. And it'll take us to this option, which is the color change option. So. Basically right here, you're gonna tell the machine what order you want your colors or needles to run in. Uh, remember this machine has automatic color change and automatic trim. So after every color you select, the machine will automatically color change and trim. Um, so let me just move over for a second right here and you will see that on this machine we have 15 needles. So on the screen you will have uh, 15 color options. Um, the good thing about butterfly is you have this white background so you can actually see your color of your the color of your threads or you can also see the colors in the back and it's 1 through 15 right to left so basically you would just select the order you want your colors for that particular design um, on this one I know my first color is orange so I'm gonna go ahead and go with four and my next three color options are gonna be black, so that would be three. Uh, then I would go ahead and select the check mark and it'll take us to the parameters for the design. Uh, on this option, you can actually select your direction of your design if you need to rotate it, uh, but at this moment, uh, we wanna keep everything the way it is, so we'll go ahead and exit out with the little exit option and it'll return us back to the home page so just remember that the option down here is your memory so when you press this it'll always take you back to the memory of the machine these are the designs that we've already uploaded to the machine okay um, you do have a, to turn the page and basically it'll turn and show you all the designs that are on there we're currently on uh, 33, which is the one we, we uploaded, so it's already highlighted, so we don't need to worry about that. And then the most important one to load from the USB stick would be the little pink floppy drive looking icon, okay? Uh, but let's go ahead and return back to the home page. So we've already selected our design, uh, we've already selected our colors, and we are ready to run the machine. You always want to make sure that you're on needle number one and the reason for that is we want to center our hoop. Um, you will see a little needle icon right here with a number. Basically that number is telling us what needle we're on. So just in case you're on a different needle, um, as you can tell I went ahead and pressed this button right here with the three needles and the arrow on top and you'll get this option and it actually tells us what needle we're on with the red light but let's just say that your previous design ended in needle five 
So I press 5 and it's color changing over. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So let's say we have we just loaded this new design and uh, well we want to start a new design and we want to trace our hoop and we want to center it. So what you want to do for that is go ahead and back go back to the three little needles with the arrow on top and press one. And the machine will move over. And you also have this red laser. Okay? Now let's move over back to the screen. Now on the screen you will have these three, I mean I'm sorry, these four arrows. And basically that's so you can move your frame in the direction that you desire. And you're actually moving it with needle number one. So you're centering with needle number one basically. So you're moving the frame. And also keep in mind that this center button right here is for your speed of the frame. So you can speed up your frame or slow it down just by pressing it once. And that's so you can get a more, the, the slower part is when you're trying to get as accurate as possible when you're doing the dead center. But let me just move over to the hoop so you can see while I'm moving the frame. And basically I'm centering needle number one with the center of the hoop. Okay, now let's go back to the screen. So once you, this, you, you reach your desired center point, we're gonna go ahead and do what you call an outline check or a trace, uh, which is very important when you run a new design. So that way you don't hit a hoop or you don't get too close to the edge of a hoop and damage the machine. So you want to go ahead and press this button right here with the little hand and there will be a number three design border operation and then it'll be number three move frame along design border. Okay, so let me move over back. I'm going to press that one that says move frame along design border. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the hoop so you can see what it does when I press number three. Um, it will, when I press it, it will tell you confirm move frame along design border. I'm going to hit the check mark and it will do the trace. Okay, so let me show you again. You can always go back and do it as many times as you need because there will be designs that will be closer to the edge. Okay, so move frame along design border and then it'll say confirm move frame along design border and once you hit this check mark it will do the trace okay then it'll say no frame limit so basically there wasn't any errors or anything with the trace so we'll go ahead and hit the check mark and we'll go ahead and hit the exit button to return and then we will return back to our home page Okay, so now we are at the point where we want to run the machine. So we've already selected our design. We've already selected the colors and the order that we want them to run. We've done our trace with needle number one. We've centered our hoop. And now we are ready to run the machine. So at the bottom right, you have a needle with an arrow going up and down and a red line across it. So we'll go ahead and press that and you will get embroidery confirm. Basically, you're telling the machine, I'm ready to go. So hit the check mark. And you will see the design come out on the screen in a light gray shading. So just keep in mind that when you start running the machine and the machine is stitching, you will also see it fill in on the screen stitch by stitch. Okay? So the last thing you would need to do is press this green button and the machine will start running. If by any chance you get a thread break, a thread break or anything like that, the machine will automatically stop and you can actually back it up with the red button. So if you press it once, it'll go back one stitch. Uh, so you can just press it to go back a few stitches, you press it a few times. To go back a lot faster, you hold it down and it returns a lot faster. And you will also see the way you will see when it's returning on the screen as well. Then you would re-thread your needle, hit start, and that way you do not miss um, any stitches 
that you missed while you were got a while you got a thread break. So that concludes the basic control panels on the multi-head butterfly LCD touchscreen. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.